Hey guys, this is Dhey from ECM Student Chapter, IIT Assam, Dhanbad. And in today's video, I'll be talking about promises, handling rejections, and async functions in React JS. So, what are promises? So, JavaScript is a synchronous language. This means that it executes one thing at a time. So, in some statements such as API calls or set state function, takes a longer time to run. So, as it is running, it returns an unresolved promise, and the control moves to the next statement. This causes an error because the next statement uses the previous data from API calls or something else. So let me demonstrate this error first. So I'll be making. Let's see if this is working. Yes, it's working. Now let me define a constructor where I'll define a state. Let's define the state. For this, I'll be using a JSON placeholder API. So I copy this and put it in Postman to see what kind of stuff it returns. So it is returning a JSON file of a to-do. So let's print the title of it. So let's initialize it with an empty string. Now let's put a button for getting the data and on clicking this function will be called which will be let's say get data this dot get data so now let's define the this dot get data function it will be a Called on an event which is pressing the button. So let's prevent the default action of it. Now let's see if this is working. So console dot log. So we are getting high. So on clicking it, the button is getting called. Now let's call the API. For calling the API, we will be using Axios. If you don't have Axios, then you must install it by npm install Axios dash g dash g will in, in install it globally. Now, as we will be using the state, we will have to in this function we will have to bind it first. So this dot get data equal to this dot data dot bind. This is pretty standard stuff here. So now let's call it. So we need the API for it. So let's copy it. We'll be st storing it in a constant. So here it is. Now we'll post a get request by Axios dot get API. Now let's see what happens when we do it directly this way, and then this dot set state title. Let's see what kind of data it is returning. So we need to store the title. So it would be res dot data dot title. So let's save this and see if it is working. As you can see it is not working because the property title is indefined for the res dot data. Let's print res first and see what why this is happening. So after we get res, we log it. So as you can see, it is returning a pending promise. So we need to handle this promise. So how do we do that? So a promise is basically an object which has three states: a pending state, a successful state, and a rejected state. So right now we try to access it in a pending state which showed us undefined. So it has another state that is successful state, and we use it in then function. 
so in then function it, the control goes to the then function when the promise is successful and then we execute it while if it is rejected due to some error we catch it here and it is basically the error handling stuff so let's implement it in this same code so the response is not required here dot then use a arrow function so dot then we will take a, the response which we got and we'll put it in a function it will be this thing so let's see if it is working oops there is okay so we haven't printed it so let's print it let's go oops so we i forgot to use a curly bracket there it is as you can see it is getting data successfully now we need we also need to handle some error for example let's say the api is wrong so what happens then nothing is happening and we cannot say why nothing is happening so for that reason we put a dot catch okay i think i made some mistake here okay so it will be below this There's still some error here. So let's see if it works. As you can see, we are getting the log of the error in case the API fails. So let's place the correct API back, and it's working. So now another way. to handle such request is by async function so what is an async function so it makes the function kind of asynchronous such that two things can flow at once but actually it is not happening actually it is not asynchronous it just acts in an asynchronous way so it is implemented using the await keyword and when await is called then the control flow of this program stops and the given given command is executed and after the command is executed it goes to the next statement so let's implement this first to implement an async function we need to define the entire function as async and we will not be using the then keyword so i'll just remove this after this is executed the next line will be executed which should ideally not give any error and should be printed successfully i saved it as you can see it is working now what if the api is wrong as you can see you can see nothing so for this we put a try catch block which is pretty basic it is a functionality of javascript itself okay so the it is logging the error so we can handle the error well in the case of async function now what is the difference between async function and 
async function and the normal promise. So async function makes the entire function asynchronous. You can understand it this way that the await is the main command which needs to be executed and the rest of the code below it in the function is inside the then block. So this is just a comparison and it is not exactly that way but you can understand the difference that way. I personally use async function as it is a lot convenient and it also uses the try, try, try block catch block functionality of javascript. So this is it for today. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe to our channel.